the offensive execution first half, the second half. What, what do you kind of notice in terms of the differences there? You said it looked like it slowed around, went down a little bit into the fourth quarter. Uh, I think exactly that. Um, I think we uh, kind of got out more in transition. We definitely played off the turnovers more, so maybe our defense was a little bit more on top of it in the first half. Uh, and then second half, you know, just trying to execute, get the matchups and the advantages we want. You were kind of able to get into that post of uh, Al, you know, able to get a couple of looks inside there. You two, obviously, a lot of it's going to be Jason, a lot of it's going to be Chris Steph in terms of the post up. So how do you guys try to find your spots to get close to the basket and score? It's just a read or a feel, you know. Um, you know that JT, especially JT and JB tonight, um, we're just doing a good job of, of obviously making advantages and having people double them and making passes out of it. So <clears throat> there's times where Cam Thomas is on me and he has five fouls or he tries to switch on the aisle and that's a mismatch for us. So uh, just reading those and being better at them. What's the thought to you about this group? Um, when the lead start to go away, sometimes you see teams mount down. It seems like for the most part of this year, you guys, you know, goes for 20 or six and you just kind of, all right, steady yourselves and then figure it out before things go fully sideways. Um, I think it's just our character. I think uh, we believe that we're a good team and we can withstand anything. Uh, so even runs, we know that this is a, a game of runs. 20 points means nothing in this league, no matter who you're playing. So um, we know that this team, with the firepower that they have, is going to throw a punch. But um, I think at the end of the games, it's something we're really trying to be, uh, try to lock into and, and just be able to buck down offensively, buckle down offensively. Along with that time, Mark, well, it felt like tonight, every time they put cuts and picks, Derek White had a three. How clutch is he? I mean, Mr. Reliable, you know? Um, always makes the play if it's offensively, making a three or, or a nice pass. Defensively, always getting a block or, or still. Um, just somebody that you can always count on uh, to, to be in the right place and, and not be afraid to, to take on that challenge of making a big shot like tonight. You mentioned Cam with the five fouls. You got to play away in the game. How tough is that decision there? You know, you know he has the five fouls. You're probably trying to get that on him. But in terms of making that read and, you know, kicking out to three, what are you kind of thinking in that spot? Just uh, sometimes two is – sometimes three is more than two. Um, obviously, I know, especially with Cam, he's not going to foul. And, and getting that layup, you can see the um, weak side guy try to come in and help. But, um, you know, I think those kickouts uh, – the energy of that ball swinging and, and getting a wide open shot is a, is a good feeling and uh, just shows that you have trust in your teammates. The coach was talking about that stretch late in the first quarter. Jason hit two threes in a row and then the third one, he got fouled, made another three. Do you guys know, like, when a guy makes two in a row, he's definitely shooting the third time? Is, is he check a real thing or is uh I think you've been around long enough to know that that's a real thing. Uh, but, I mean, somebody like JT, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if he made those or not. Um, we rely on him to make those, and he's not afraid to shoot them. So, um, but tonight, him taking those shots gave us a lot of energy. It definitely gave us a boost to um, go out there, lock in defensively, and then get him the ball back. Thanks, again tomorrow night. How difficult is that to keep the team Playoff atmosphere, right? Uh, I guess it's not technically a back-to-back -back away and home, but. Uh, yeah, um, I, I think it's um, – I have my own thing on back-to-backs, but uh, <laughs> I, I think playing a team um, one after the other is, is a challenge in itself, no matter who you're playing against. Um, obviously, do you change schemes? Do you try to do the same thing? What is the opposing team going to do? There's a lot of factors that go into it. So um, it can be a challenge for sure, and it can be fun, but at the same time, do we really want back-to-backs home and away? What you, what's your thing with that? Yeah, I, was gonna say that too. <laughs> I mean, they kind of suck. Well, <laughs> home and away aspect or just in general? Uh, home and away for sure, but who really likes back to back? Drew, uh, Sundown Contest this weekend. How excited are you to see your teammate participate? Nah, I told him if he if he stinks, then I'm I'm a repost it. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassed I'm gonna be? But uh, I'm excited for him. Um, obviously, I know that especially with the dunk contest. Uh, especially the big name guys, all-star break is a time to rest and kind of uh, regain your mental strength. But I think to go out there and do the dunk contest is, is big. And <clears throat> again, a big name like JB, who's super athletic and you see the dunks he, he does in, in game. Um, I'm excited to see him. How do you 
I know it's a perfect segue, so I'm just going to ask, so when you talk to a fellow All-Stars like yourself, Drew, what's the reason why, you know, guys just don't want to participate in the game, typically? Is it injury prevention? Is it not enough first place prize money? I mean, what's, what's the... I don't know if they mean? don't want to participate. Um, I think sometimes it, it just comes down to, like, having a good time, you know? And sometimes in having a good time, it's not as competitive as uh, maybe it, it can be. But at the same time, it, it, it also can. Um, obviously, All-Star is something that everybody wants and, and an accolade that everybody kind of wants on, on the resume. But you also want to be healthy for the rest of the season and, and postseason. What are your plans for the break, and how important is that, like you said, to kind of mentally reset? It's important. And I'm going on a break. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> All right.